Hello everybody. Now here in this video, we're going to talk about text blob. What text blob is? So this is another very useful and simple library built on top of NLTK and it works like uh, you can use this like NLTK, SPACI, etc. Okay. Let me do one thing. Let me directly take you to its official website. So this is the website. Uh, it's its entire inventory and everything is available on GitHub. If you can see it has all in total, it has 8.4K uh stars right so what all are the things that we have over here a lot of things which are available over here like you can do the noun phrase extraction parts of a speech which we have already learned in this series right then you can do the sentiment analysis this is a very good thing you you get over here right here you can directly do the sentiment analysis right you don't need to you know do the vectorization and all those things <clears throat> then you can also do the na uh, naive base classification and all those things tokenization etc so here are list of the uh, things that can be done okay so out of this uh, whatever are most frequently used that's we gonna see in this video right Let, let's just uh, jump to the jupyter notebook and start using this okay so here I have my Jupyter notebook. The first thing which we need to do is start importing this. So import text blob. All right, let's say it from text blob import. And then we can say, I'm just trying to do a autocomplete using this, all right. So let's just allow it a couple of seconds. All right, so it's uh, it's done over here. Okay, so the first thing which we're gonna try over here is doing this spell check. Before that, we need to create the text. So when I say text, means the object. Let me say let me say over here. Um, let's say text blob, and inside that I'm going to write my text. Uh, let's say learn area is a great place to learn the things okay all right so what i'm gonna do next is so first thing which we uh, okay so before that we need to store this in an object let's call it blobs and inside that i'm going to store my text now first thing comes a spell check so to do to check this thing first we need to make some spelling mistake okay so let's call it great this way okay learn area and let's let me make some mistake silly mistake uh let's say a then let me call, say it things okay and let's just try doing this you all that you need to do is say blobs and then over here you can call this function which is called correct and let's just let, let it just produce the result like you can see over here learn area is a great place to learn the things wow it worked well right you see it has done the spelling correction now next thing which i'm going to do is i'm just going to store this correct blob and inside this i'm just going to store this one and let's just try to print this if if it has the same thing yeah it works well next thing it has is you can change the case as well okay so correct blob dot you can simply say upper and just hit enter you see here i have a spelling error okay so now here i just corrected it okay in the same way you can do lower as well just say correct blob dot lower and you hit enter here we go okay so this is how you can use the upper and lower next thing comes is parts of a speech tags right how can you use that so it's very simple let's call it correct blob dot you know you can simply call tags and let's just see what we get oh yeah here we got that right so you see learn area is nnp is is verbs a is dt 
what does this mean right what all this abbreviation means so these are parts of the speech i have created a separate video for parts of the speech itself you can just refer into the uh, series and you can check that out okay i'll give the link into the description section all right let, let's move forward so over here now let me let me help you understand how can you do that okay if you want to do it right so let's call it import nltk and in nltk let me just see nltk dot unpin there is one thing all right so it's slightly gonna be different uh so what exactly like you want to understand the meaning of what is this fb sorry vvz stands for right so for that you're gonna do you just import nltk because this text blob is built on top of nltk so this is something you can they, this is similar in both of them right so nltk dot help dot you make it this right and when you run this you see over here you're gonna get list of all those abbreviations right like you can see over here you know vb vpt vbg here we go here we have vbz what present tense third person singular etc right so this is how you can do the uh, parts of speech tagging why is it important to do that's something i have covered in a different video and i highly recommend you to give a look to that particular video now the other benefit is you can do translate it as well that's a very powerful thing and very important feature of text blob okay so this does this uses the text blob uses the google translate api and using that it does the transformation so let's say let's call it uh, text blob correct blob correct blob is nothing but the text which we gave initially over here right and here we corrected that we did this spell check and corrected that okay so that's what we are going to use over here translate and here we're gonna say from language so if you see it takes two argument from language and two language so i'm just going to say from language and here i'm saying english and i want to translate it to let's say let's call it spanish right and let's run this so you see it has been translated so i i don't know the spanish language so i won't be able to read it out rather i can use hindi and if you see over here it is translated into hindi so it's that simple right now the next thing it says is noun and phrase extraction let's do this correct blob dot noun let's just see noun and phrase extraction it will give you the list of all those nouns and phrases used in the given text okay let's just hit enter so in the given text there are there, there's one noun which is learn area and this this is uh, possibly like a phrase right great place okay so these are the two things it identified so it's it's really useful thing let's say if you have been given you know a uh, huge amount of text and you want to fetch out all the noun out of that so that you could you know do some analysis for example let's say you have been given uh the whole text from twitter and you want to see that what is the product that the customers are talking about okay or maybe if uh, it's about the complaints then possibly you can uh, you may like to fetch out what is the uh, phrase that they are mostly using it and then you can build some sort of visualization to see you know uh, the temperament of the customers okay then next comes the sentiment analysis this is also very powerful thing and in a very simple way it has been given covered over here right so let's say sentiment sentiment okay and let's run this Oops. yeah here you see here it says polarity equals to 0 0.8 and subjectivity equals to 0 0.75 that means so polarity also ranges between minus 1 to 1 and subjectivity ranges between 0 to 1 right and uh, if you want you can just give it a search over here and other than that if you see over here as well right so here as well it has defined what pull okay so it has not defined uh here let's just search it, search for it okay polarity 
and subjectivity so what you see over here subjectivity subjectivity detection so you'll get hell uh, i mean i mean quite significant detail about all these things polarity you see polarity uh, polarity is float which lies in the range of minus one to one where one means positive sentiment and minus one means negative sentiment same way it goes for subjectivity let me just give you a view of that as well all right so you see subjectivity ranges between 0 to 1 that's exactly what i was saying right so what does this mean polarity means if it is 1 that means that that means it's a positive sentiment if it's minus one that means it is negative sentiment here it says 0 0.8 that means it's more uh, more of positive sentiment okay now talking about subjectivity this is this is about personal opinion right personal opinion what is the personal opinion uh, this statement has so 75 percent it's a personal opinion right so there could be something where there could be some text which is based on facts or analysis or research right it uh, the in the text uh, writer would be talking about those things so over there you will get less subjectivity less subjectivity higher polarity means more accurate uh, uh, i mean you know it 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 uh, it could be more accurate kind of stuff right the other uh, thing which you can also do over here is you can also use the naive base uh, in right over here okay so let's say from text blob from text blob dot sentiments sentiments import naive base analyzer right and now let's create blob equals to text blob and inside that you can put your text which is this i'm going to take this and this time i'm going to write it let's let me just write it okay learning is a great place to learn the things things okay and then over here you can also specify the analyzer analyzer and that is going to be naive base analyzer right oops i just missed one bracket over here all right now you see blob dot sentiment sorry when you use sentiment I'm just letting it auto complete. <clears throat> All right, so it's completed, and let, uh, let's just see. So, like you can see over here, it says classification. This text is classified as positive sentiment, having positive sentiment, and you know it has also given how positive it is and how negative it is. Right? It's seventy-one percent positive and twenty-eight percent negative. It's 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 analysis, right? same fashion in the same fashion if you want you can here i have some text written from the movie review right so let's just try this one okay so i'll just try to put it over here and let's just try to put it right over here and let's run this let's see what it says it's taking some time awesome so here if you see it says classification as positive and positive percentage is you know probability percent probability of positive is 98 percent right which is quite good and over here you see in the data also it is classified as positive sentiment so this is how you can use many more features i highly recommend you to refer to its website it's its web page which is which i was showing you initially which is this one right so this the, this is something which i would highly recommend you to check and uh, give, uh, you know go ahead and try 
all these features available and just in case if you are stuck at any point if you would like me to explain any of them just feel free to put that into the comment section i'll be very much happy to you know explain that and cover that okay i mean explain that in a separate video i just hope that you liked this video if so please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends that will motivate me to create another videos and we will be in touch thank you very much once again wish you